Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen getting ready to cook that Saturday morning family breakfast. And this morning we will be cooking banana bread French toast. Oh yes, you heard me right. Banana bread French toast. I got two packs of the, from Publix, the banana walnut sliced loaf cakes. And as you guys can see, it's a little foggy because I had it in the freezer. Because you want to put it, well, I put it in the freezer, you know, I'm showing y'all how I did it. Um, you'll see the banana uh, bread slices, it's slices of banana bread. So, um, I put it in the freezer, that helps it, you know, get hard. So when I put in the eggs, you know, it don't get all loose and soggy and stiffen up. And loosen up, y'all know. So, um, we've got some cherry wood smoked bacon. I got that extra thick cut, y'all know, we don't do nothing skinny over here. So. Yeah, we got the tray wood smoked thick cut bacon. And I got the Smithfield ham. Um, I got that pretty much free if you guys saw that haul uh, for Publix. And I got some tater patties, which is just hash browns. So that's what we're cooking today for breakfast. All right, guys, let go. Okay, guys, we're back. Let's go ahead and get our um, bacon, uh, hash browns, and our ham. Let's get everything panned up so we can get it in the oven. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And, of course, you know, just whatever you, you get, you know, cook it as long as you need to cook it. Um, usually my bacon takes about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, hash browns, same amount of time. And this ham is already cooked, so we're just going to heat that up. But I'm going to put everything in their own individual pans. And I'm going to put everything in the oven at the same time. So all three of these can cook at the same time. So let's get that extra thick bacon out. And one thing I like about this pack, you just peel it apart. All right. Get that bacon out of there. Ugh looks so good i love a thick bacon it's so much meatier and thin bacon just gives you a lot of fat and not much meat thick bacon can be like that too just depends on the brand but i know this brand is pretty good pretty good we're just gonna get these lined up in our pan squeeze it all in there that two pieces okay no see that's what i'm talking about it's so thick you think it's two pieces but oh i love thick bacon this is some good bacon i've had we've had this bacon before get it all lined up in my gotham pan because one thing about these gotham pans these gotham pans gonna get hot they get too hot sometimes but i only cook certain food in my gotham pan only certain food because the gotham gets so hot but yeah, hopefully I should be able to fit all this bacon in here. They give you a lot of bacon in this pack. I mean, it looks like it's not a lot, but they do give you a lot of bacon. So we're going to get this panned up here. Squeeze it in because y'all know bacon going to shrink as it's cooking. So we're trying to squeeze all of this bacon in here. Scoot this over some. So we got a couple more pieces of bacon to get in here. So we got to get it all in here. Everybody squeeze in. How many more pieces I got? No, y'all. Looking a little crowded. You're going to see. I got three more pieces. I ain't going to be able to fit all this in here. That's fine. I could just put the other pieces of bacon with the um with the ham they can all only got three pieces left here so i'm gonna sit that down on there kind of shift this over because you don't want it on top of each other too much so let me shift this over okay so we got the bacon panned up put it over there on our stove all right let's do this pan I did want to put aluminum foil on this pan, but I'm not going to put it. I'll put it on the other one for the hash browns. All right, so let's finish getting 
our bacon done. Like I said, I'll put the bacon with the um the ham. Duh, they're both pork. So oh, I got four pieces over here. I thought I had three. Okay. All right, we're gonna get this on here. Okay, so this is gonna this is gonna take up this pan. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take up this pan. I'll get another pan for my. Yeah, that bacon. Wow, that's a lot of bacon in that pack. I don't remember them giving us that many last time, but that's good. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna get this pan. Um, let me see. Let me get aluminum on this pan real quick. And I need to get another pan for my hash browns. Thing. All right, let me get some aluminum. Y'all hold on. Get some more aluminum because that aluminum piece was not long enough. Right, let's get this. Get this going. Come on already. Anyway. open I love this ham I wanted to do two different meats you know I wanted to do a ham and I wanted to do a bacon I mean they're both pork but you you know what I mean I just want to do something different I didn't want to do like a breakfast sausage all right okay all right so we got that on there um, usually I cut the ham away from the bone, but I'm going to leave it today. I'm going to leave it today, go ahead and let it cook itself up, and then I'll just, you know, once it gets cooked, I'll cook it away. I'll cut it away, but that is that nice big piece of ham. Put that over there. That's ready. Let me get another pan real quick for our uh, hash browns. Okay, hash browns in there. Let me get another pan real quick for the hash browns because that oven is ready to cook. It is ready. Let's see. Um, I think I might want to. Yeah, I'll just do this pan. All right, y'all. Let me get this washed off. Okay. love getting up early on Saturday mornings and cooking family breakfast you know so that you know the girls wake up to the smell of breakfast I love doing that but of course y'all know I love cooking as well but I'm gonna spray this pan because um, sometimes the hash browns they like to stick to the pan so just spraying a little bit of my um, Pam oil on it okay get that back in the cabinet just kind of you know move it around the pan like that coat my pan get some hash browns out okay all right get the hash browns out Let me see. 
because I want to fit all these on here. So let me try to switch this up. Okay, yeah, that fits better. All right, okay, that's good. Got a little extra one hanging out over there, but it'll be all right. Okay, so we got our hash browns already. Okay. All right, guys, we got everything ready. I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff in the oven so that it's cooking. And I'll be back to show you guys the French toast. Okay, guys, we're back. I'm getting ready to cook the French toast. Um, I've got over here, I've got my egg. I've got my banana bread over here, guys. Just want to show y'all how I'm doing it. Just placing that banana nut bread, placing it in my egg tossing it around like you would regular french toast it's just like regular french toast nothing nothing different make sure i get it coated real good sit it down in my pan i should be able to do a couple of these let's see how many we can fit in this pan be careful with my eggs go ahead and just rotate that around and remember the reason why i put the bread in the uh freezer i put my bread in the freezer so it can get all nice and hard, but not frozen. But you know, that way the eggs won't make it all soft and soggy. So, we've got that down. Just gonna show you guys me cooking this one batch. Let me take you guys in. That is our hash browns. They are finished. Okay, hash browns. All right. I did put a little butter in my pan, guys. Just a little bit of butter. Make sure you guys got a nice shot here. Hold on one second. Give you guys a better angle. Okay. That is good. Let me raise y'all up a little bit. Up a little bit more. Y'all know I got to get y'all the shot. Get y'all all in the business. Okay. That's good enough. All right, and I've got my stove on a medium high heat, not too high. It's just like regular French toast. And I do have a non-stick pan, that's important. I mean, have whatever pan you got, it don't matter, girl. So, all right, see how it looks on the other side. Looks good, okay. And you know, you just treat it like you do French toast. It's just banana nut bread, you know? You can do a plain banana uh, bread, just regular banana bread. Uh, this particular bread that I got is the banana walnut, which is gonna give you, you know, give you a little crunch with that syrup, you know, whatever you put on it. You can put plain butter, whatever you wanna put on it. Cut this down, cut my heat down a little bit. We don't need it too high. Yeah, I'm gonna get it all cooked up. I think I'm going to need to flip these again. See if they're ready over there. Now nah, I'm going to flip that back over. So it can get brown. A little browner. I'm not going to add no more butter. It's a non-stick pan. Not going to take us long to cook these either. Okay. See how they doing. Oh yeah, that's the color we want. That's how we want it to look. That's how we want it to look right there. Nice and brown nice and brown like this one over here okay all right that's good okay that's good get that piece of egg out of there but that's good you see how quick and easy that is quick and easy guys banana bread french toast all right let me go ahead and get the rest of these cooked up and I'll be back to show y'all the grand finale. Okay, guys, we are back for the grand finale. And yes, our French toast looks amazing. Just a little extra crispy right there. But don't worry about it. It's still delicious. Look at that. I'm going to take y'all into a real close-up look. The French toast came out wonderful. We've got our hash browns over there. Bring y'all out our ham, our bacon. Oh, everything looks delicious. Turn that around for y'all. Take y'all in so y'all can get a real good look at all that goodness. Oh yeah. Bacon, the ham all nice and golden brown. Yep. 
Y'all seen me do it. So you know I did it. All right, guys. Nice little quick Saturday morning breakfast. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. Don't forget to go in that description box, guys. Click on that link to my second channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.